What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at how to do a chipless firmware installation for the XP4105. This process is very similar to other, other printers um, if you've ever done a chipless firmware installation before. Today we're going to be looking at both the installation and recovery process and we'll have timestamps in the description box so you can follow around or skip around the video to whatever you need. So just before you begin the process, make sure that your printer is connected to your PC via a Ethernet cable connection, a uh, USB to Ethernet cable, um, and then you're going to proceed to turn the computer, uh, printer into a firmware update mode by doing the pressing the following buttons. You're going to press the cancel left down and power button until your screen looks like this. Okay, so now that the printer is in the firmware update mode, we're going to go to the inkchip.net website, find our printer, in this case the XP4105, um, and we're just going to download the firmware for this printer. Uh, make sure that you have some sort of extractor that you can use to extract this file. Um, I'm going to press show in folder, and then I'm going to right click it, and then extract it using 7-zip. I'm using 7-zip, there's different um, extractors you can use. Um, and once this is extracted, uh, I'm going to open the folder and then open the software, allow it, press yes to allow it, um, and then I'm gonna press next, agree the software agreement, press next. Um, and in this stage, you should see your printer connected to your uh, computer via a USB connection, and you're just going to start the installation process. Um, note that this process might take a little bit of time, so don't worry if it does. Once you've finished that part of the process, this is what it should look like on the printer. It should say finished. Um, and then from here, you're just going to press OK and then power the printer off. Once the printer is powered off, you can power cycle it by turning it back on. And then from here, the printer should start up normally. However, what it is going to do is that it's going to tell you that your ink cartridges are not installed correctly, um, uh, especially if you have sublimation cartridges, put it into your printer. But it's just going to keep telling you that your cartridges are not installed properly. Um, and this is why you're going to need the next part of the process, which is the firmware activation. Okay, so now that we've finished that part of the process, we're going to move on to the activation slash recovery process, since that process is very similar. If you're activating it for the first time, you're going to come to the inkchip.net website, and you're going to purchase a activation code. Uh, make sure you're selecting the for XP4105, uh, and you can use the code INKXPRO to get a 10% discount at checkout. You're going to hit proceed to checkout, and they're going to send the activation key to your email once you buy the code. So uh, make sure that you check your email for the activation code. Now that you've actually bought the activation code, we're gonna come back to the inkchip.net website, go to software, um, and then we're gonna find our printer model, in this case, the XP4105, download the activation software. Um, and then once it's downloaded, we're gonna open that software up. We're gonna hit activate online. Uh, and then this is for the part of the process that differs depending on when, whether or not you're recovering or you're activating. If you're activating, you're simply going to put in your code that you received in your email, and you're going to press OK. Um, however, I'm in this case, I'm recovering, uh, so I'm going to press, I'm going to paste because I already I have a recovery code saved from the past, so I'm going to paste that into this, uh, and then I'm going to press recover. It's always a good idea to have your activation code and your recovery code saved in a document you have saved somewhere um, just so in case any problems arise you can always recover your software so now that you've finished that part of the process you can now move on to the printer driver installation part of the process uh, where you're going to want to come to the epson website download the printer drivers uh, and then you're just going to proceed to this process and once you get to the end of this process um, you can either, first of all, you can either allow this to be your default printer or not. 
Um, and then once you get to the end of this process, you can select color profiles, uh, adjust anything you might need to adjust for your sublimation printing, and you'll be finished with the chipless firmware installation for the XP4105. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed watching the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you.